Madden Football is the home of the Super Bowl, and this historic matchup is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Philadelphia Eagles and the Indianapolis Colts, and it comes your way. It's the next. National Football League presented by EA Sports. Tonight, it is all online. We play for the Lombardi Trophy, as it'll be the AFC champion Indianapolis Colts taking on the NFC champions, the Philadelphia Eagles. Brandon Gordon along with Charles Davis. Well, CD, what a turnaround for this Colts team. Of course, back in the Peyton Manning days, they were always near the top of the AFC fighting to get to the Super Bowl. Well, now they're back for their first Super Bowl appearance since the 2006 season. And you're right about this franchise. Division championships galore. But they sure would like to add to their trophy case with another Lombardi trophy. And they've only won it twice. Super Bowl 41 and Super Bowl 5 mixed in with a tough loss against New Orleans when they went for another one. Meanwhile, for the Eagles, they're trying to pull off what only three teams have done before, go from Super Bowl losers to Super Bowl champions. Last team to do that, the Patriots, Super Bowl 52 and 53. Before that, you've got to go back to the Dolphins in Super Bowls 5 and 6 and the Cowboys in Super Bowls 4 and 5. Vegas. This fielded right at the goal line. And he won't quite make it to the 25. So the Colts now coming out for their opening drive. And a glance here at their shifty mobile signal caller. And as we know and as we've discussed here in the run-up to this game, this is history in the making. The first rookie quarterback to ever start in a Super Bowl. An absolutely tremendous accomplishment, something no one else has done. But he doesn't want to just go down as the first to make a Super Bowl. He's told us all week he's here to win it. Quick throw out wide, and Pierce has got it. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. A good start offensively. 15 yards on the game's initial play. If you're these receivers, you got to be ready because when he's going to throw it quick on that RPO, he's going to throw it quick. And this is why you spend time with your guy either in the offseason, during the week, the whole bundle. Because sometimes it's just telepathy. You both see the same thing, and he knows get the ball to him right away. That's caught. It's Josh Downs. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 15 more yards there, and quickly another first down. Now, they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely. Great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? First and 10, Richardson looks to throw it. On the throw, led him too much that time. It's incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. Second and 10. In motion, the tight end. They'll run. This is Jonathan Taylor. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. That second down play, that's a minus four. I think we got to give it up for him right there. That's a heck of an athletic move for a big man right in the middle of the line. How about the play he makes there? Nowhere to run, and he finishes that one off for a loss. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he has another first down, as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 30. That's on the tackle, Braden Smith. Still third down. So following the holding call, what can they do here on third and long? Richardson looking to throw. And that's into the hands of Mo Alley 
Cox, the tight end. Their opening drive here is going to result in a punt. They got seven yards there, but not enough. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. On fourth down, the Colts will call on Rigoberto Sanchez for the punt. Britton Covey deep for Philadelphia. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. Philly's offense getting ready, and Jalen Hurts ready to lead them. The second-round pick who started his career at Alabama then finished with an electric senior season at Oklahoma. As we begin the Super Bowl, we're looking at one of the game's most important players. And whether he's the centerpiece of the offense or taking a backseat to his teammates, Offenses always look to the quarterback to be a leader in moments like this. He's got to be that calm, composed pillar out there who stays level-headed and keeps everyone focused on the task at hand. Off the play fake, here's Hurts. They'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Throwing his hurts. Throwing the out route. Right. He's got Parker. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. The Eagle passing game looking good on this drive. It's a first down. Well, from their point of view, this game could not be starting out much better, could it? Force a punt on defense, and now they're moving it crisply on offense. Crisply, I like that. Like yeah, that? yeah, moving it very, very well. Looks like the defense on their heels a little bit. You put a score in here, long way to go, but you're right, that's a heck of a start. Yeah, and I think this is where the play caller is looking at his play sheet and saying, do I have that dagger play? Do I have that play and just finish him off right now? Because I think they'd love to get that big advantage early. But if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. To the right side, he's got Parker. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. They need two, here's third down. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. Oh, what a move. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. If you make the stop there, maybe you hold them to three on this opening drive. They didn't get the stop. Yeah, new set of downs now. Now you're worried about, just as you pointed out, not just giving up three, possibly giving up six. Let's see what they decide to do here because they've got to change up what they have been doing. It hasn't been working. And this is caught. It's Brown. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. So the penalty declined, and they will keep the yardage on the completion. And you could almost see him compartmentalize there throughout the route. Fought hard at the line of scrimmage, a lot of hand checking throughout the route. Great job staying focused on the football and pulling it in through the contact. Barkley. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. Good work there, holding him out on first down. And this is going to be a battle down here on the goal line. Can they hold their ground for two, maybe even three more plays? So second and goal, and standing by himself in the backfield, Barkley. He's going to get it again, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft, and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. 
And Barkley will try to punch it in. And this time he is in. Yes. Saquon Barkley punching it in from a yard away. And the Eagles are on the board first here in this Super Bowl. So both sides of the football contributing here early. Their defense forces the punt, and then the offense takes it down the field and punches it in on the short touchdown run. And Brandon, that's good complimentary football, and that's what they're going to need if they want to get out of here victorious. Elliott good on the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it's capped off by a touchdown run from Saquon Barkley. Touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Here comes the Indianapolis offense now as they get set to take over. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and 10. They'll run with Taylor to begin the drive. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Plays like we just saw there. That's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game. And that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up the first down. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, sharply run route. Again, zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area. So you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. Stiff armed him. And take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Back to back, nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early. Running through all types of tackles and putting the defense back on its heels. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 47. They go to the ground again with Taylor. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Ball on the 40 now. Here's second down and two. Off play action. Richardson. A good decision in the end. The pull and run gets him nine yards in a first. Brandon, you know more about quarterbacks protecting themselves, but I have to admit it. I liked what I just saw there. That rookie wasn't afraid of absorbing a big hit. Now, you don't want to see him taking those shots all game long, but he picked up the first down, kept fighting for yards, and was willing to embrace some contact to keep the play moving. First and 10, it's Richardson. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. It's Devin White, the linebacker. And the Eagles are going to get the football there as he gets this up to the 38-yard line. That time defensively looked like they showed quite a bit of pressure, but backed off, and it proved fruitful. They get the pick. He went through all of his rules about getting rid of the ball quickly because he read blitz. He saw all those people stacked at the line of scrimmage. 
and then they fooled him by dropping into coverage. Now he's ready to get rid of the ball fast, but guess what? Too many defenders out there. Exactly as you described, an interception. The Eagles in good position to start out as they come up first and 10 at their 38. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. The escapability in evidence there as that one good for 15 and a first. That's the first time he's called his own number, but he's got to be overjoyed with the results. He wasn't just going to settle for a modest gain. To me, he was determined to come through with a big message to a defense that slipped on him in the pocket. A first down carry for Barkley. Oh, good move. A little jerk. And a good job of finding the open space to run as he's down close to the 30 here. 15 more yards there and quickly another first down. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But also like what the runner's giving us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. That brings us to the end of one in Super Bowl 58. Much more to come from Las Vegas after this. 7-0 is our score. We'll return after this message. You're watching the NFL, and it's right here on EA Sports. And we are back. Biggest game of the year, the Super Bowl, and both teams ready for the start of the second quarter. And a second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. A good job in coverage there. They took away his top read on the play, so it went through his progressions and ended up settling on his running back who scored on their last possession, but the coverage held. It goes incomplete. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Now a toss right to Barkley, and Barkley did not get there. Nothing doing on second and third down after that nine-yard gain on first. Just a simple run play there on third and one, but this D was up to the challenge and stopped them, bringing up fourth down. Boy, a call like this, certainly tougher to make in a Super Bowl, but they'll go for it on fourth down. They'll try and run the option. Oh, a fine work there as he gets this thing down to the 11-yard line. Yeah, so they get that one, Charles, on the right tackle. Yeah, oftentimes in that spot, you're trying to work against a defender, trying to set the edge in the running game, and you're trying to drive around and get your body twisted so that he can't get there. Sometimes your hands get too involved. So Hertz is off, and on comes Jake Elliott for the Eagle field goal. From the right hash, this from 45 yards away. The kick by Elliott is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. And Dallas Flowers going to bring this out of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped it to 23. And he's set to go on offense once more. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive in particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe 
maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. As we both know, there's a lot that went into why they made him their first round pick this year. And part of it was what they saw in college, his playmaking ability when things break down. As soon as he saw he wasn't getting a lane to throw, he pivoted and found an alternate way to the marker. And he'll get this only up to about the 35. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. Typically on the read option play, when we talk about responsibilities, we're talking about what the quarterback has to go through. How about the inside linebacker, though? His job on this play, shadow the quarterback and hold him to a short gain. Did it to perfection. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. So five yards here, five on the play. And this will wind up being a third and three. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. They'll try and run for the first with Taylor. And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. Out is Rigoberto Sanchez on fourth down to punt this thing. It's a return of five following a punt of 42 yards. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. Philadelphia's offense ready to give us another look. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had a field goal last time, and they're up. But they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking. And I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> <laughs> Not one that I've ever met. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. Well, anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. Throw right side, caught by Goddard, the tight end. But he's going to lose yardage here back to the 14-yard line. It'll be a loss of six yards on the play. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. When you lose that kind of yardage on a pass play, you often expect it to be a sack. But that wasn't the case there. They completed the pass. Probably would have been better off just dropping the football and making an incompletion as opposed to catching it and losing that kind of yardage. Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, it was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. On fourth down, punt coming from Braden Mann. Now a fair catch, signal four and made right about the 43-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And the Colts will go on offense here, first and 10. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off of the end zone. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 at their own 44. A carry by Taylor to start the drive. And boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Now a second and 10. Now it's Richardson. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. 
The improv act there, good for nine, and now they'll be looking at a third and short, third and one. They made a nice effort to stick him with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. Third and one, Richardson to throw. Pressure comes, and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Brandon Graham applying the heat off the edge. And this is a quarterback who's already had success on the ground in this first half, but this time they're able to hem him in. And it's always different when you rush a mobile quarterback as opposed to a guy you know will be right back in the pocket. In this case, you got to make sure the inside pressure and the outside pressure match and maybe even a second wave to make sure if he squirts free, you've got someone to tackle him. It'll wind up just a 35-yard punt, no return. And the Eagles will be backed up deep to get the drive started as they take over first and 10. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 12-yard line. He'll drop it off with Saquon Barkley. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there. And that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run. But for both sides, they had to walk away from that field. I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Here's Hurts to throw. He's got Dallas Goddard. He's tied in over the middle. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender, but the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. The offense on third down tonight, they've hit two for four thus far. They're looking at third and a few inches. Out of the shotgun, they run with Barkley. Gets by him at the 25. And this is going to be an Eagles first down as he'll take this forward to the 27. Just about every coach we talk to says the crowd shouldn't affect us. That shouldn't be an issue. And then the next breath they talk about taking the crowd and taking them out of the game by picking up first downs and keeping them at bay. I think we just saw an example of that there, didn't we? Important to do, especially early in the game like they have. They keep it with Barkley on first down. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. 44 yards rushing for him now to this point. Consecutive positive runs for him on the last two snaps. He certainly appears to be trying to put the offense on his back and just move them down the field when his number is called. The way he's running it, I keep going back to him. Second down, here's Hurts. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. No coverage bust by the defense here. They did a nice job accounting for everybody, and that led to an incompletion. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Hurt sets up to throw it. This one goes on wide for Barkley. And he's brought down short. Two yards there, needed four. Two yards on the pickup there. And that'll bring up fourth down. Two minutes on the clock in the second quarter of this Super Bowl. Here's Braden Mann now as he'll punt it away for the second time. a fair catch a signal for and take it just 34 yards on the punt there no return and they will take over first and 10. There, Richardson back to throw it. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. 
Well, Charles, in the past, a lot of people called this offense one-dimensional. I think you did. Well, I think it was you. I'll be honest, I did. <laughs> I think the fan base is hoping with this young rookie that they can put some wrinkles in this offense like we just saw. I think you're exactly right because we... Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. It's Devin White, the linebacker. And he's going to get this one to the 23-yard line. They have been struggling to put points on the board so far. While you don't want to lump it all on the rookie quarterback, he's definitely the root cause. And all rookies, they have those learning experiences in their first year. What they're hoping for is that he can learn on the fly, work through his struggles against his defense, and at the same time, still find a way to put them in a position to win. The offense takes the field, and we turn our attention to Saquon Barkley. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter, been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable, and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here, because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. And well, now he's looking just to add to his totals. On first down, Hurts over the middle to Smith. And down inside the 15, he goes. A gain of 10 as they look to add on to this 10-point lead. He's been the forgotten man in this first half. Not a guy you want to forget. Not only his first catch, first time they've targeted him. That doesn't make any sense, does it? Not because at all. those are the types of plays that he provides. When he does come alive, when they do look his way, not only is it a big catch, it's a first down. And Garrett's got it. Touchdown, Eagles. 13 yards out, and the Eagles continue to look good here in the first half of this Super Bowl. That score that they just gave up there, that's a tough one for their defense to swallow because they've had a tough time through the first two quarters. They really were determined to get a stop there, unable to do so. That makes their comeback hopes that much more difficult. Elliott on for the extra point. He's got it, and it's 17-0. Well, that drive started with not a whole lot of real estate in front of them. In plus territory, excellent field position. Two plays later, pay dirt. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. The Colts going to take over now late in this first half. And with a three-score deficit staring him in the face, they might have to press the issue here and try to get points out of this drive. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. That's an excellent play by the defender. He diagnosed that one close quickly. And he'll force the incompletion. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Back to throw. Here's Richardson. Connecting over the middle with Downs. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. This now a third and four. Richardson working from the gun. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Richardson. And 
take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. No shortage of impressive moments from him thus far. Now he's halfway to the century mark, and we're still in the first half. There's been no answer for his running ability so far by the defense. I can't wait to see what adjustments they'll have to make during the halftime break. First and ten. Here's Richardson with it. To the sideline and incomplete. Nice progress down the field. Was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. Here's second and ten. From the shotgun, Richardson. The 20! A big play there just before halftime. 41 yards. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. And again, knocks this one through. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. Barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. So we've reached halftime here in the Super Bowl. As we send you to our EA studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. Here, it was the always dangerous Saquon Barkley with the impressive first half. He had a touchdown run that helped get his guys this halftime lead. All right, Coach, thank you very much as we welcome you back for quarter number three. These two teams sat through a longer than usual 30-minute wait, but we're back in action here in this Super Bowl. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Out come the Eagles now as he'll go on offense first here in the third quarter. And I would imagine this is where you have to take stock of the situation, CD, and say, gosh, we're halfway to the Lombardi Trophy. Let's not slow down. And I like the way you went there. Let's not slow down now because the first half certainly went their way. And I would expect them to continue with that type of a game plan. But you're right. You do think back to Super Bowl 54. 49ers had a double-digit lead in the fourth quarter. Couldn't hold on. So plenty can still happen. Hurts throw here taken in by Parker. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. I don't 
That'll give him eight that time. And that'll bring up a second down in just a couple. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. It's caught inside the 25. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. They'll get 34 yards there. Another big play right there, and this is where, as an offense, you can really put the hammer down. You've got a double-digit lead, but those other guys, they've been hanging around. A touchdown here could put this game out of reach, and that's a strong step towards getting it done. So the big play gets them all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Throwing his hurts. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Well, no one likes to see that drop, but I'll guarantee he's not going to stop his quarterback from going back to him anytime he has open space. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Now Hurts on the option right. And all the way down inside the five and the four. 18 yards there, and it'll be a first and goal. Well, he is certainly dangerous when he spots a lane, and he keeps it himself there and worked out well. And how about the moving parts on a play like this? You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to be choreographed. But how about once he made the decision to go, he committed to it and went. Let's face it, most teams are going to do it. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. Holding offense. So reverse the celebration. We'll see if they have something else in their bag of tricks. And isn't that always tough to watch when they score and you see the excitement and then when they realize those points aren't going to count? Can they get it back together and find their way back to the end zone? A terrible spot for a holding call as he'll try again, but now from further back on first and goal. Hurts. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Quiddy Pay getting in there and burying him behind the line. Well, that's not how you hope to draw it up there on first and goal, CD, by taking a sack like that. Well, they tried to be aggressive, didn't they? They didn't want to try and work their way past the goal line. They wanted it right there on that play. Unfortunately, it backfired against them. Now they have to try and pick it up here moving forward. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. A big chunk of real estate covered on the scramble, but it will be third and goal. I thought they were going to sack him there like they did on first down. Great coverage, but he found a way to move with his legs. Yeah, his ability to take off. Not only did he get some yardage back, he got a little bit extra. Really helps him on third down. Makes it manageable now. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Jalen Hurts taking it in from four yards out. And the Eagles will extend their third quarter lead here in this Super Bowl. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical, that's one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. Elliott good with a PAT. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. Here's the Colts now as they get ready for their first possession on offense of the second half. 
And their halftime hole now even deeper, and they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger, but no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. First and 10, Richardson looks to throw it. Now that's into the hands of Mo Ali Cox, a tight end. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. It used to be occasional, right, safety valve, throw one to him every so often, but more, mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leader. Richardson under pressure, and down he goes. That's big Jordan Davis powering in to drop him. That time, Charles, great job keeping him in the pocket and not letting him escape. And Brandon, I think this was a great example of the front and the back working together, meaning the back covering, no place to go with the football. And the front, terrific job on the edge, so he couldn't escape outside. And then, of course, the inside pressure kept him hemmed in as well. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. It'll be a gain of 17 and an Indianapolis first down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. Just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. 43 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. And he'll be brought down, it looks like right at the 40. Only a gain of a yard, but that's all they needed. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. Richardson's throw caught by Pierce. The result, only four yards there on the play, and it'll be second down. But there wasn't much there with that hitch route. They didn't gain what they expected, but sometimes when you call a hitch, you really don't have an alternate to go to. You don't have a second route to throw it to, so sometimes you have to rifle in there and hope for the best. Richardson out of the shotgun. This will be taken in by Michael Pittman. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 25-yard line. 11 yards for number 11. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Multiple defenders there to drop him for a loss of four. A rookie QB struggling gets thrown down to the ground there. But, you know, maybe this game, it's not over yet, but maybe this game can be a learning experience for him. So many different things that he has to pick up on. When to, when to go ahead and flush from the pocket and run. When to get rid of the football and not take the sack. When to just go ahead and go down early and make sure you don't, make sure you don't fumble the football. So many things that he has to learn. This game starts the process. I know conventional wisdom says, hey, don't get it all back in one play. But sometimes you go ahead and try to. They tried to get it all back on that one. Weren't able to do so. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now Richardson. Oh, it's intercepted. A drive killer there. And the Eagles are going to take over at their own 11-yard line. Certainly not what he was hoping for, Charles. That's now three interceptions in this ball game. But there's a lot of knowledge to be gleaned every time you throw an interception if you do things the right way. And hasn't there been a pretty darn good quarterback along the way who threw a lot of interceptions early, learned from them, and became great later? Who would that be? That'd be one Peyton Manning through 28 his rookie year. That's the NFL record 
how things turn out for him. I think okay. He's a guy in all the commercials now, right? <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. he's doing okay. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 11. They'll start out on the ground and Saquon Barkley. It's a six yard pickup and it gets him to second and four. If you're in the offensive huddle, you're smiling after that play because you've certainly got them guessing now. Second and short, could they just hand it off for another big gain or did they take advantage of this spot to take a big shot downfield? From the 17, here's second and four. They'll give it to Barkley off the option play. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. And he got half of what he needed there, two yards, and it'll bring up a third and two more. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. On third down, Barkley, and he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. I apologize in advance, partner, but the V feeders on the interior of this D-line, you just know they were licking their chops on third and short, and yes, they were rewarded with a tasty dish, stuffing that one short of a first down. The Eagles send out their punter now as he's on here to punt it away. Fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. They call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at the 39-yard line. First and 10, Taylor now. And able to get this one all the way up to about the 46-yard line. 51 yards rushing for him now to this point. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Here's second and three. They'll run the toss here with Taylor. Oh, nice move. <laughs> That's a pretty strong running there as he'll take this across the 50 and down to the 44. That's good for an Indianapolis first down on a gain of 10. A nice toss play there to the left. More than enough room to move the chains. And you know what I love about that play as a broadcaster? Seeing the big guys move. Seeing them get upfield and take out defenders. You know what I hated as a defensive back? What? That exact same <laughs> thing. Seeing those linemen coming downfield, getting ready to blot out the sun. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. We are through three quarters of play here from Allegiant Stadium in Super Bowl 58. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And we're back in the Super Bowl. Time to decide who gets to hoist that Lombardi trophy as we begin the fourth and final quarter of action. And they'll go to the air now with Richardson. Got a man. It's Pittman, and he holds it in for the Colts' touchdown. A great effort there. 29 yards. And the Colts are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. So a little bit of a letdown there defensively. I mean, look, you're still two scores to the good, CD, but things may be a little more uncomfortable than they had hoped. Yeah, if you'd kept him out of the end zone there, this game's over. You've locked the door on him. Instead, it's still open a little bit, and they've got a puncher's chance. Extra point by Gay is up and good, and that cuts the lead to 
Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And he returns this to the 22. Philadelphia's offense ready to go again. And they have been the better of the two sides to this point with a two-score lead, fourth quarter of this Super Bowl, and the Lombardi Trophy within reach as they start this drive first and 10. They begin with a run by Barkley. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. This defense starting to buckle down when they need to, and right now they're winning this fourth quarter, losing the game, but they're winning in the fourth quarter. And what a fine line it is about what they're trying to get done because they're down, so they obviously need the football, need a score, but they can't be so aggressive as to give up their edge, their gaps, and have the offense hit them with a big play. On third down, they're going to go with the option. And he probably should have given that one off as he's going to get hit and taken down behind the line. Well, he's had success running the football on this one. Yeah, that's undeniable. But that time, the defense was on to it. And, partner, I think the more you see a play like this, the more they're able to diagnose it quicker and easier for them to defend it. I think you have to dress it up a little bit and show maybe some different formations and looks. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. On is the punter man as he boots this one away. And a fair catch called for and made just inside the 35-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And that will come the offense as they take over. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out. And Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. Jordan Davis, his second sack of the night. How about that, partner? His second sack of the game, and that puts him in some pretty good company. 17 guys have had two sacks in the previous 52 Super Bowls, but only three have had the record number of three sacks in this game. And we've got the list here. If he gets another one and everyone behaves nicely, we might just list those out for him. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. There's a quarterback who's learned his lesson. He's thrown a few interceptions so far. That time he said, I'm making sure nobody catches this one. Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground. Shrugs the tackle. Nice. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 down at the 39. 66 yards on the ground for him now as he's done that on 15 carries. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, 
gain some yardage and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. So the completion good for seven there. And it's second down. They go play action with Hertz. And that's complete downfield to Parker. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts 28. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Partner, I like that they're staying aggressive on offense because to me, this drive is what is known as a put away drive. You score here, that might put this one to bed. I like the fact that they're playing with confidence and not playing with fear. Now from Colts territory, here's a first and 10 as they've got it to the 28-yard line. He'll find Parker again, complete. That's good, the completion there for seven yards, and it'll be second down. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him. Why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Off the play fake. Here's Hurts. They'll get this out to Barkley complete. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. The Eagle passing game looking good on this drive. It's a first down. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. Barkley inside handoff. And he'll be dropped at about the 11 after only a yard. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. On second down, here's the option. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Jalen Hurts taking it in from 11 yards out. And the Eagles are feeling good as they extend their lead in this Super Bowl. Well, I've heard you use the term put-away drive, and that right there seemed like the definition of a put-away drive. Yeah, it certainly just pops right up out of the book, doesn't it? Because up two scores already, just wanted to possess the football, keep converting and picking up first downs, and if the drive ends in three points, that's terrific. If it ends in a touchdown, fantastic. Elliott good on the extra point, and the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. Indianapolis offense ready to go again. And their Super Bowl hopes are dwindling here in the fourth. That AFC crown from two weeks ago starting to seem like a distant memory. And this one just has not gone as they had hoped. On first down, Richardson. They'll get this one to Pittman. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Richardson looking to throw this. That one finds Pierce right side. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 
Indianapolis moving the chains there on a gain of 12. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or, boy, something that feels a little bit cheap. But if they trim that lead down to just two scores, that's still a benefit to this squad. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. And Richardson yet again. And that's caught left side by Mo Ali Cox. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. And there's a completion to the tight end, and look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You're getting better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. Fourth down, desperation time. Here's Richardson. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. The Colts unable to convert here on fourth down. And the Eagles defense able to hold. Well, that's another mistake there on the drop pass on fourth. And we've seen them do things like this all game. It's not hard to figure out why they're down by that deficit. They haven't made plays that are going to keep them in the game or win the game all game long. That's another example right there. It all boils down at the end of it to execution. Either you make the play or you don't. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. They'll try and run some clock here with Barkley. And he's going to take this one across midfield and into Colts territory. Tackle made by Zaire Franklin. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up at the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. Running again with Barkley on second down. And he's swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL, and he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time, so make sure you get in shape. Here's Hurts to throw. This one goes out wide for Barkley. That's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two there. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? The Eagles send out their punter now as he's on for the fifth time here today. And this will be out of bounds at the what here? The 12-yard line. Here comes the Indianapolis offense now as they get set to take over. Well, probably not much that they can do at this point, CD. Down three scores late in the fourth quarter. This is going to be a little too much to overcome, you would think. Yeah, they'll go down swinging, but in the end, I think we saw the writing on the wall a while back because one team was clearly better than the other in this one. And while it didn't quite reach blowout status, I think we knew who was going to win this one well before we got to this stage. First and ten, it's Richardson. The toss here completed to Pittman. And he'll be stopped right there at the 28. 16 yards right off the bat in a first down. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout. 
and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw down field incomplete. Well, these guys are not going to go out with their tails between their legs. They're going to keep taking their shots until the clock's at triple zeros. But that one, like a lot of others, winds up incomplete. Second and 10, back to the air with Richardson. Uh, he short arms that one just a bit. It's low and incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. Here's Richardson to throw. And this one is incomplete. Looks like they're gonna keep throwing to the bitter end. This one's long since over, but give them credit. They're gonna go down fighting. That one, incomplete. If they're gonna have a shot in this Super Bowl, they're gonna need this one on fourth down. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And this is caught, but they say out of bounds. That would have been a first down, but he couldn't stay in. And as a result, they're going to have to give up the football. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. And now it appears that the referee's been buzzed, and we'll get a review. And this being inside two minutes of play, Everything coming from up above. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the After call. The play, on the field is so the officials and the folks in New York got a second look at this one, and the call is going to be overturned. So this drive going to continue following the conversion on fourth. Here's first and ten. Now it's Richardson. Being chased out left. And he wisely will throw that one away. This has been a rough one to put it mildly for him, and after this one's done, you just feel like at the post-game press conference, this team's going to have a lot of questions and definitely not a lot of answers. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Richardson looking to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, it just seems like all game long there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. Now Richardson. And that is incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. Going for it on fourth, Richardson. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and that may write a finish to this Super Bowl. So they've gone for it twice now on fourth down of this game, and both times unsuccessful. I wish we could hear the headsets now between the head coach and the offensive coordinator. Now that they're 0 for 2, if they get into a third situation, head coach might say, hey, you got anything for this one? <laughs> might get radio silence back. <laughs> Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their own 42. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking.
Here's a second and eight. Now Hurt's going to keep it running left. And maybe the wrong read there as he's going to go down immediately. A yard in the wrong direction makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. And the Lombardi Trophy will rest in the city of brotherly love. The Philadelphia Eagles are the Super Bowl champs. And when this moment comes, I think you look back at all the blood, sweat, and tears, the offseason, the workouts, training camp, week one, two, three, all building up now to say you're a Super Bowl champion. It's worth it. It certainly is, and rarely do we have a team that hoists the Lombardi Trophy that didn't have their share of bumps along the way, didn't have to face some adversity in the journey, and now they get to just enjoy it and revel in it. And all offseason, They'll be signing their autographs with Super Bowl champion underneath it.